Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are carrying on in Satisfactory. Um, there should be uh, a live stream that went live yesterday. Um, I think it was on for about an hour and 40 odd minutes. Um, so we did like a, a clean up session and stuff like that and did a little bit of tidying. Um, like got rid of all our storage crates. We filled out quite a little bit of this. Um, so as you can see that extends all the way over there now. We've now moved our hub over here. So we kind of made ourselves a nice little new base next to, next to this because we've got our space elevator here. And we're building quite a lot of factories in this area and soon they're all going to be coming out this way instead of coming back on myself. So yeah, been, been tidying things away. Um, I've also been a little bit busy just before this episode started as well. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed it. We've got two more assemblies over there. Um, and as you can see, we've got these popping all over the place now. So this is now taking our um, steel pipes. It's um, splitting off this, going downstairs, and then it's coming back over here. Uh, so we've also got our... So remember we had this one coming up here for our rods. I've split the rods off. Uh, just like that and they're going into their screws I split off our screw line that was going through so that's also supplying that copper copper has been brought all the way over from our copper area and the steel pipes are popping up there because that's the only area in the floor that I can bring it up uh, it goes around here and then into the system so this is making our stators that's making our rotors Yes, and then we need one more assembler. Do what? Can I afford it? Can I? Can I? Uh, uh, no, <laughs> I actually need more stuff. That's that's quite bad. Um, actually, while I'm here, why don't we just start filling in some of this stuff? I did collect quite a lot of concrete from our various farms, um, just because we're going to need this anyway. All this area is going to be completely covered. Uh, yeah, so if you um, wanted to see what we did through the live stream, yeah, it was almost two hours worth. Um, had a bit of a chat about myself, had a couple of chat with you guys, which was fantastic. Uh, it's nice to have a live chat about something. It's, it's something completely different. Uh, I kind of liked it. You know, we, we, we got to, to discuss a few things, see what new projects. We came up with a couple of myth-busting uh, video ideas, which uh, will be quite good to find out what the actual results of that was. Um, actually, while I'm here, I could just get rid of half of this stuff here, couldn't I? Because this is just mostly annoying. Because if this is just always going to be in our way, uh, we can just... Blend all this stuff away, and then we've just got a couple of leaves. And yeah, that really makes this area look so much nicer and tidier once we've just got rid of all of that. Um, might as well get rid of it. It never seems to spawn any more food, so what's the point? Don't need to pick up your leaves. I just need to need to get rid of you, basically, because you're just in the way. And little mounds. I wish we could just destroy them, because there's there's. It kind of makes the base look slightly untidy, but I don't want to go slightly up and then slightly back down just because, you know, that's there. Um, right, so. I think that's that done. I think there's just one more. There we go. So that's that area clear. That looks nice and tidy, doesn't it? You can see straight into the base. Right, so, yeah, going on about the copper. So the copper is going on here above, so it's you're not, in, not interrupting that. Everything can still pass under. Um, and it's actually sitting on top of these screws, which are then going off to their own plant over there. So, hey, we're 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 keeping things uh, nice and in the mix. Um, and it's tidy because it's on top of each other. It's not sprawling conveyor belts all over the place, which is what I like. Um, if you're watching my videos, I do like to keep things nice and tidy. Uh, eventually, these will go away because um, I had an idea. Uh, in between episodes, we found out that there is a foundation. There is a one meter foundation. So it's only one meter thick, so we can actually raise everything up, which would take me literally forever to do. But we could raise... What? What is that about? Are you not connected? Have you got power? You've got power, but you're not receiving cable. What? 
How did I not notice that before? I thought everything was making cable. You're putting iron in, you're putting iron in. You're not receiving anything. Oh, wow. Is is that really been going on since cute Blake? That's slightly embarrassing. That has never, by the looks of it, ever been making cables and or making copper through that area. I've always just gone to the first one, so I've just completely skipped the whole channel. So this should now be now producing copper. Wow. It must have been at one point then. I must have I must have accidentally disconnected it from somewhere. That's really strange. I'm glad I noticed that now. Um yeah, because that's quite surprising, actually. Hmm. Okay. So, you are only just making cables. So, I'm going to steal from you. And then we were going to make another assembler. And uh, it's going to need an industrial storage unit. And then we should be making motors. Now, motors should be fairly easy to make. So, let's get ourselves into that. Because I do really want to start on trains. I think trains would be a really good fun. Now these are there. So if I plank, plunk that in the middle. So that's there, that's there. That seems to be in the middle. That's quite nice there. Let's see if these will actually connect now. So if I rotate... So you can go in like that, you can go in like that, they're about the same, and you can make our motors. Right, and now all I need to do is power you up, and we're now producing five motors a minute. Wow, that's fantastic guys, so we're progressing on. Yeah, I didn't think you need to see that because we've already made motors before, steel pipes. Um, I'm, I'm bringing steel pipes over here, so that seems like a silly thing for me to need. Uh, there we go, 15. Industrial, like that. There we go, and we're making ourselves some motors. So we need 200 motors for everything, so I think while we're waiting th for things to happen, uh, we can... Just have a look a bit around the base. So yeah, we um we went up to the top of the, this. We found a purple. Oh, we bought. We actually did. We found a purple slug. That should be over by now. I was think that was only running for ten minutes. Yeah, we built a nice little nerd pole. Went all the way to the top, um, and then we jumped onto the flying mana ray wherever that's gone. Um, so yeah, check check that bit out, guys. That was that was uh, quite cool to see because I turned it onto the photographic display so I turned off all the hub and stuff like that and it was really nice to see the uh, the base from the top uh, and just fly around it so yeah do check that out it was quite enjoyable um, yeah we cleared up here so the, all this is now gone all the, all the um, containers have gone so this is a nice clean area for, for other stuff um, this is currently running. It, yeah, again, it's very janky. Doesn't look very pretty. Uh, but this is currently making our computers, which we only need 100 of. So we've got 100 of those. That's nice to see. That's nice and easy. Um, oh, also in between episodes, I have connected up our fuel depot. Um, so again, I'm using this this drop down again. Uh, and I've turned round our motor, got rid of the two things at the back, and now that directly runs straight in, so we've got a forever supply of uh, energy from the fuel, which is good. And if we wanted to, we could just either bring that up, and then we can just run that off those, which could easily be done. Uh, this thing should just be making things crazy. Yeah, it only just make almost two a minute, so that does take us a while. And I have, I think I've left the game running for about three hours since my stream. Uh, so yeah, I finished my stream. Um, I went, had some dinner and stuff like that and left the game running in the background. So things could uh, could collect in my stead, which, uh, which we do need. Because 
collecting these items uh, sometimes is a pain. And again, I should really bring the vehicle down, but I always forget it because that would be so much quicker to run around with. Uh, but yeah, trains, guys. Trains. This is what we want. <laughs> this is where we want to move on forward. Um, yes, yeah, so we had a couple of myth-busting ideas. One was, um, is conveyor belts better or vehicles? So I want to compare one to four. The conveyor belt against the sugar cube, the truck, um, and the train. I don't know if the Explorer could work. So we're up to 17 on that. That's not bad, that. Um, 17. So it wouldn't be long until we've actually got all of that. So we needed 150 of these. That's that done. This is not running again. I think this is running out of stuff. Yeah, it's the encased industrial beams now that are running slow on things. And what is that running out of? That's running out of concrete, I think. Yeah, it's just because concrete runs really, really slow. Yeah, because it's still beam production. That, that's got loads of that. But then this is only producing four a minute, and I think this needs like 15. Yeah, this needs 15 a minute. So I actually need three of these factories. Because what are you? A Mark two. You're a Mark two, so I could do with doing a Mark three with you. And then... Because you're taking in 45, and then producing 15... Yeah, and then you're taking in 20 per minute. So, yeah, everything's a bit backlogged. I'm going to need just more stuff in this area. Because uh, this is, this one is a bit tight, isn't it? I've started, like, some of my builds like that. That looks pretty. It's smart. Things are just slowly coming in. And the back end of that slowly looks nice. Because things roll in and then straight in sort of thing. Yeah, and then some really don't. Um, oh, there's the space manta ray, um, and it was actually quite fun to fly around on it. Um, I tried to try to jump off it onto the radar, uh, but that almost no, no, that did kill me. And then we had a glitch problem where I kept dying over and over again, uh, which was uh, quite depressing. Uh, right, so we wanted 150 of those. That was fantastic to see. We wanted 100 of those. That's all ticked off. Now it's just the motors. But I swear I had motors in... Did I have some storage for motors? Or did I use all of them? Oh, I do have another green power slug here. That's good to have, because I can instantly turn that into another power shard. Like that. There we go. Power shard. Can store that, just in case we need it. And let's check on that process. So, it's been complete. The crystals on this slug can be harvested and converted into five power shards that function with current fixit technology. Several buildings would be capable of performing over 100% capacity if infused. The derived blueprint is now accessible in hub tier 3. Wow, so a purple one gives me five shards. That's the first time I've ever seen a purple one and we destroyed it, sadly. It's not in here. You've got Power Shard 2, Power Shard 1. Do I have to unlock it? Is it an unlockable? Purple Shards. Oh, okay, it is, a, it is one. So that allows me to overclock buildings and unlocks it. Okay, so that's one thing we still need to do. Tier 4, we have Alien Organs gives me... I can almost unlock that one. All right. I already thought I did an inhaler. Strange. And then these is jetpack, which with everything we have now, we can unlock the jetpack, the gas mask, but to be honest, I'm more interested in uh, in all of these. This is going to be really entertaining to see what all this does. Yeah. That's what we want to do. So we're literally just waiting for our 200... Uh, 200 motors now. I wonder if the, if it's too slow if I can start making some myself. You no, know, speed up the process because I do have quite a few of these. The only things I don't have is status, but that can be easily grabbed. But we have got 37. That is not bad. Nothing seems to be backing up here, so that's nice to see. But this is only going to be producing five a minute, and we need 200. So that's a fair few minutes, and that's definitely going to be longer than the episode. So. Rotors I have, it's stators I don't have, which is 
Steel pipes and wire. I only have three wire. I can get quite a lot of steel pipes. Because we have a load in storage. And then we can go back and get some coppers, make some stators, and we can help this process. So let's get some of that. Let's put you away, get another fresh 100. So we've got 400 pipes. And then we can uh, help it along. And I do like that that's here now. There is a rumour that there is a, like a, a, a cafe or restaurant inside that. But apparently you, you most probably will never ever get be able to get to it. But I'm hoping. It, it does sound intriguing. I'm very intrigued by the prospect of being able to do that. I do like all these, these conveyor belts now. But I'm definitely looking forward to just doing everything with trains. <laughs> that is going to be my future. Everything is with trains. Right, so let's just put that back. Get a fresh 500. If I want to, we can just make. Do, do, do. What are we making? We're making stators. We can make 133 stators. And then we need is two motors each. So we should definitely have trains by the end of the episode. I'm really, really hoping that we can get like a little small rail line set up. Just go backwards and forwards, just nothing too special because then we can advance on it on Wednesday's episode, which will I think will be really, really good. So if that was a hundred was it a hundred and twelve we could do, so that would make me sixty something motors. I'm guessing, but as this is not ticking as high as I wanted, I don't think so. Maybe closer to fifty motors. Then stators are quite easy, and and now that it's automated, I should have really done it earlier. I should have really done it on live stream, and got that done. But I kind of wanted to show the end process. I didn't want to do everything. Uh, but yeah, it ticks over. It gets itself done. If it was a hundred motors, I would have got that done. And like in previous episodes, I think I had a whole container full. I just don't know where I've put them, or I think I might have just used them all, which would happen. I, I would do that. I think maybe I'm actually low on rotors. I think that's what's keeping us behind because I'm only just... Well, it's two of each. So I might be able to just to make a few more if I had a little bit more uh, rotors. But we're already up to 50. Now we're on 75. I don't think we're going to break the 100 mark. Oh, we... No, I think we're just going to be shy. Just shy. So I need more... Rotors. So if I give myself 13 of those as well, we can make ourselves... Six more motors. Right, that will take us over the halfway mark. Which is nice. Um, and then... What was I going to do? Well, for one, I want to get rid of that because we don't need that anymore. I want to check this container, but I think this container is just full of explosives? Or is this pipes? No, this is actually just full of rotors. I just need to make myself some stators. That's why I need some more pipe. Okay. I know I left a container over here for something. Um, so I need copper with that. I've got lots of copper, but let's take some more. Let's get rid of that 170 and take some more. Okay, so we can make some more back at the base area. Because this is, this is no longer home now. We've said goodbye to this area, and we've moved across over here now, which... It looks lovely now. It's open planned. There's structures everywhere, but they're kind of planned. Um, I was thinking about doing walling some sections off, but I, I, I do actually like my open planned factories. I think they, they add something to it. It's really nice. Um, and that is how many now? Oh wow, that's almost 150. That's 
that's quite impressive actually. I wasn't expecting to, to make them that quickly. I wish you could do some self crafting though, if you could do it in your inventory. Let's get rid of you and you. I've got status so I can make them in, in my hand. Because sometimes you can overfill your areas. Um, yeah, the big base, of course, is going out of that way, which is going to look beautiful, especially with our storage thing here. And everything will be coming in with it, and all the trains we're going to have, you know, it's going to go crazy. Everything's going to look beautiful. So status, we can make another 66, which, if I think about that status, uh, we can make another 33 motors, because it's two each, isn't it? And I think that's generally just because I'm low on steel pipes. I think I could make more if I had more, but I think the construction over there is going quite well. Uh, we're currently on, what, 100 and 126. Another 33 will bring us over three quarters. And they're being produced quite quick because all we did was build these and it made us another 26. So I can't complain at that. Um, I hope you guys are looking forward to trains. I am. I've been waiting for this for quite a long time. Um, so, kind of excited. Don't know what they do yet. I've seen, like, just pictures, but it will be fun to see. Right, so let's sort that out. We currently have, oof, 159. Right, so we only need 41 more. Which is beautiful. I'm hoping, I know this isn't going to make 41 in that time, what's it making, 5 a minute? So, you know, we're going to have to wait 4 minutes? No, quite a few minutes actually. So that's 165, so what do I actually need? I need more status, so I need more steel pipes. Which again, very easy to gather. I think this will just be my thing, just running backwards and forwards trying to get things sorted. That way you can just see some of my process. Uh, get rid of that too, take another 100. So we've got 300 steel pipes this time. And luckily, because we're over here, this is where we need to drop it off anyway, so kind of saves us some time. So I need another... Where are you? Status. So that will make me another 50. I only need 41. Is it 41? Yeah, because I've got 9. No, I've got 15 now, haven't I? So I need 35. See, that's nice and quick, isn't it? We should get this done. So I was discussing on live stream, those that don't want to watch all like an hour and like 40 of it, um, possibly doing a stream with you guys. If you, if you wanted to come along the stream, if you've got the game and want to join me, we can do just a stream version of the game. Um, so we just... We'll just stream it, we can chat, we can talk, uh, play together, like build our own little society up because currently I think I've got like 50 hours currently in this game um, and this is all I bought, uh, all, all I bought, all I built. Um, so it'd be good to see what a, a, a big group could do because I think that'd be nice and quick. We could get through everything, see how people's build structures work and how their designs work and I believe I believe, guys, we've done it. 200. We have trains. Monorails Milestone unlocked. Reached. A new set of buildings and vehicles needed yes. for long-range transportation has been made available. In addition to built-in power conduction, rails-based transit ensures increased efficiency and reliability for both the transport of pioneers and cargo. Oh my god. So we need a lot of things for these. Lots of reinforced. And lots of motors. Okay. Oh wow, these tracks are huge. I was not expecting them to be this big. That thing is huge, isn't it? Look at that. Right, let's put a couple of these. Oh wow, and it, it works just like a conveyor belt. Okay. Right, so let's plonk that down there. That is huge, isn't it? Look at that. And then trains. Of course, we're going to need stuff for that. Freight cars, we're going to need stuff for that. Train station. <laughs> Pretty much, we're going to need stuff for that. 
I'm just hoping we have everything. Do we? Does it need computers? I have computers on me for the freight and the train station. It doesn't need it for the empty one. Luckily, we've got 50. So let's build a... We need motors for the platform. I think we have enough. So that's... Oh, wow, this thing is huge. And does it snap? Is that in line? Is that connected? Will that let a train go on it? I don't believe so, just because it hasn't got the same texture. Uh, but if we put... Yeah, there we go. If we click that onto that... Oh, it does do a casual bend as well. Let's do that. So this is Skovac C. Okay. Oh, there's a little area for me to go up. I can configure it. Oh, there's a train timetable. That is pretty cool. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about this now. So trains can only go one way by the looks of it. So we can have a freight one. Must be placed in line with another train. Oh, with another train platform. Oh, wow. Okay, so it works like that. that goes there and then what do we do with an empty platform does that just oh that just clicks on does it so I wanted to I could do that get rid of this I'm, I'm just really just playing with this now just to see what it does okay so this is an empty platform this must be like this is the train station, so that's got a timetable. This has got a... Oh, cool. So this will load, unload, take, sort. That is pretty impressive. That is a huge cargo door on that. That's got four worth of storage. That's got a huge area at the top. Look at this thing. Wow, okay. Um, I wonder how much this takes to power. I said this needed power, didn't it? Okay. So it's not too bad. Everything seems to be running okay. Again, there's these bloody things for me to go up and down. Okay, that's fine. And then we've got extra platforms if we want them. This is impressive. I, I like what they've they've done. So I need more motors. I need more computers. I can put a rail... Oh, that's a freight train. Oh, wow. And it it's empty. I'm assuming because it's got no inventory. <gasps> I instantly died. Oh, I should have really thought about that. I got instantly killed by a train. Okay. Um, What else did I need anyway? I needed something else. I think it was computers. Um, but maybe, guys, don't stand inside the train. That's all I can say. So I can grab all that. Let's give myself my tools back. I can't believe I got killed by the train. I think that's the, like, eighth time I've died today because I kept falling out of the wall as well, which was uh, not fun. Okay, so if infantry's empty, it looks like that. Infantry's full, it's got a container. That is pretty snazzy. Uh, so, train. What did I need for the actual train? Five more motors, three more computers, and five beacons. Right, so, what time are we on? We've got a couple more minutes. This, I really want to get this done, and then, yeah, I think we will look in this in depth in the other episode. So, motors I can grab. Again, I've forgotten the car. And I wish I could really use the train. This will look really cool just outside our base. And if I can have a train station, if I can drop it below the world again like I do the rest of things, then this will be fantastic. So, um, yeah, guys, I think I'm going to be back in a second. I'll go get those stuff and then we'll build it. So I'll see you then. 
Okay, so I'm back. I've got all the stuff. I've actually, you know, I've actually been sensible and I've actually brought my car back. It's here. It's sitting here with me. And now we are going to put a train um, that way. <gasps> Guys, we've just built ourselves a train. We've got a train and it should be connected to the electrics and it's got no power. But I thought I just connected the station. Does it need more than just the station connected? Uh, I'm not responsible for delays caused by any reason, including not limited to hog attacks, biomass on tracks, and stuff like that. Okay. Um, oh, I'm assuming. Yeah, let's think about this. It needs. I'm going to assume and then you and then you need you need a connection on both sides <gasps> oh wow guys we've, we've got ourselves our own train is that going to derail? Don't know if I want to test that. That looks like that will derail. If you don't stop it, it looks like it will. Okay, so that's a good thing to remember. Actually, what will happen if we do that? Should we have a look? Although it tells us about the break. Okay, I can also boost, do space bar for like big breaks. But let's have a look what happens. Okay, no, it can't come off as long as it's got one track on the end. And then this this goes... Have I broken... Oh, no, that... Is that dumping stock? What is that about? That, that won't go any further than that. That's very strange. But it's very strange, isn't it? So if I jump out, if I deconstruct you, if I put you back here, let's build my freight car here. If I put stuff in here, let's say you are to load. Does this need power too? No, I think that's fine. Maybe it just needs the train. Maybe it doesn't do it without the train. I'm assuming the train can come through as well. It just needs to be connected to a freight car. Okay, so that stops it coming through. Okay, that's different. Maybe I should have put the freight in front of it. We'll have to look at the freight in another episode then. Yeah, because that just, that just breaks the train. I think it's because you can only go one way with these stations, so you can get some serious speed on these things, though. And it does instantly stop as soon as you do that. But that is cool, guys. We have ourselves a train. Um, and we've got ourselves some cargo terminals. Um, yeah, we can do, like, emergency brakes. And but as soon as you do that, you can't go too quick. So... Well, that's good. That is good to know. I like this. I hope you guys did as well. We finally got to it, guys. We finally got to trains, which is beautiful. Um, yeah, so hope you like this, guys. If you did, then do hit that like button. If you didn't, then hit that dislike button. If you want to see more, then please do subscribe. And um, yeah, if you want, guys, leave a comment down below. Are you excited for trains? Trains, guys. We're, we're so many trains. We're going to do everything with trains now. <laughs> it's going to be a huge area, but let's try and see what we can do. Um, see you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.